When you've won a World Cup, it's rare for your career to be defined by something else. What a save! 1970, the opponents, Brazil, and bearing down on him, the world's best. As the ball left his head, Pele screamed goal. It is still a mystery to most how Banks denied him. People still talk about it wherever I go. It's still shown on television uh, lots and lots of times. Um, yeah, to me, to me it was... Um, it was something a bit special. Four years before that magical moment, Banks was England's mainstay as Sir Alf Ramsey's team made history at Wembley. He played in every game. His expertise was unrivalled. For six years, FIFA voted him the world's best goalkeeper. And he achieved that status at relatively unglamorous clubs, first Leicester City and then Stoke City. A generous man, he even nurtured the youngster who would eventually capture his England jersey. Gordon, to me, was my hero. I think he was, um, he was somebody I looked up to. His laugh was something I always remember because when, when Gordon laughed, you know, everybody, you could be in two or three rooms away and you'd know it was Gordon Banks, you know, he had that special laugh. At the peak of his powers, his career stalled because of a car crash which cost him the sight in one eye. Uh, I want to keep playing. Um, this is just another hurdle in life that, that I have to overcome. He attempted a comeback and, while still better than most, could not reach the standards he'd set himself before his accident. So he quit English football and played one season in America. In retirement, he was awarded an OBE and a statue at Stokes Ground, unveiled by his old friend Pelé. Today, that statue is dripping with scarves. At Banks' feet, flowers, many messages, and all around memories of one of the club's favourite sons. The German national team defeated opponents in the 66 final tweeted today, describing Banks as a fierce opponent and a good man. England's current manager, Gareth Southgate, said he was saddened to hear of Gordon's passing, an all-time great. And Pelé reflected, I am glad he saved my header, because that act was the start of a friendship between us that I will always treasure. Mr Gordon Banks. His last public appearance on the football stage at the World Cup draw in Moscow, when he predicted and hoped England would do well. Gordon Banks was 81. He is the fourth member of the 1966 Band of Brothers to die, after Bobby Moore, Alan Ball and Ray Wilson.